Hi, I'm Alex. I just finished the Vitamin One Reset program recently, although I'm continuing along this path, and I want to tell you a little bit about my story today. So, as many of you um, are familiar with, I uh, have a history of mental illness, and um, it pr pretty much comes from childhood adversity. Um, so, I'm not sure if you're familiar with ACEs, adverse childhood uh, events. And so, for me, I had um, many things that went wrong in my development, and that had pretty serious impact on my nervous system. And so as a result of that, I had struggled with mental illness and physical illness in my life, and it had a profound effect on my endocrine system um, to the point where I didn't go through puberty um, and couldn't, um, have, couldn't have children without um, some pretty significant intervention. Um, good news, I do have a daughter now. Um, so on and off in my life, I've suffered from bouts of depression, of pretty significant depression, and I would say um, that I've been clinically anxious um, most of my life. Um, I've learned a lot to manage that and resisted taking medication even though I had a psychiatric hospitalization in my 20s for an eating disorder that got really out of hand. Um, I resisted those medications until 2015. See, I'm a clinical psychologist by profession and I knew the research and I knew that SSRIs don't have a specific effect and that they're really uh, scarcely better than placebo. So I was very reluctant to take it, um, but in 2015, some things in my life really fell apart and I had to stop working. Um, I was on um, disability for about five months and um, because my improvement was so slow, my doctor convinced me to try an SSRI and I did. Um, it, it still felt so conflicted and I tried to wean myself off after about six months except that I experienced withdrawal and my doctor recommended that I go back on it and I, I followed that advice. So going, um, I found Kelly Brogan's work um, through, on, through social media, somebody in my circle had mentioned her work and I was curious, um, maybe about a year before I, um, I started considering it seriously, but I had some reservations, some strong reservation, having had an eating disorder and being so strongly uh, rooted in an anti-diet mentality, um, no dieting, no restrictions. I felt, I felt that I couldn't, um, I couldn't abide by her suggestion, um, her dietary suggestions and guidelines. But I, I got informed, and as I looked into, as I read the book and looked into um, what Kelly was proposing, I, it just started to make sense, and it was, I found that it was going in the same direction that I had naturally been going into. So I'd been a vegetarian, but had reintroduced meat into my diet about eight years ago. I uh, was being more and more mindful of um, uh, my microbiome and making sure that my physical health and my digestion was, was good and, and the impact that it had on my mental health. And so um, upon looking further to VMR, I, I, I decided to give it a go. <laughs> and um, still utilizing my own wisdom and my own power, I decided to suspend my disbelief and my doubts and say, I will try this. This is 44 days. And if it doesn't suit me, after the 44 days, I can make a different decision. I'm a grown up and I know what's best for me. So the hardest thing was giving up coffee. I had been fueling myself with lots of coffee and um, otherwise eating a fairly healthy diet, but um, that part was really hard to give up. But I haven't had coffee for two months and <laughs> I'm feeling better. I'm feeling that my nervous system has calmed down, that I'm not experiencing those big ups and downs um, in terms of my physiology, where I'm desperate for food or desperate for coffee or um, I feel this sense of urgency. I don't feel that anymore. Things feel pretty even keeled. I've started tapering from my SSRI and um, I wouldn't say everything's perfect, but the improvements that I've seen um, in terms of my health, in terms of the brain fog that I was experiencing and the difficulty with concentrating, which is a big problem in my job, I need to be able to concentrate on, on people and helping them and, and writing reports. Um, so with the improvements that I found in that, um, it's given me a reason to continue. And those judgments that, the, that I had suspended initially and now I'm finding that I can trust the program even more because I can really see um, that by eating the ancestral diet, by um, being very intentional about 
meditation and sleep and um, starting down the path of cleaning cleaning my home and, and limiting the um, the toxicants around me that can, I can really create um, an environment inside and out that's ideal for me to thrive and that's that's what I want for myself and that's what I want for my for my young daughter um, and that's what I want to inspire other people to do um, the same way that I've been inspired so my journey's not over I'm I feel like I'm still at the beginning <laughs> even though I did the first 44 days I still have a lot to do in terms of um, cleaning out my home and fine-tuning that and then tapering my medication which is a, was a big goal initially and still is uh, to get off the SSRI and um, one thing is for certain is that the the Facebook group in the community has has helped so much it helped tremendously um, having that support and the knowledge everybody's knowledge that hive mind and everybody coming together um, is helping is helpful but also in terms of inspiration and kind of seeing the bigger picture and thinking about this movement that started um, and what good it can do in the world so if you're on the fence about um, joining this movement or doing the VMR um, that's I was on the fence too and I think that's okay um, and if there's something if despite, despite your doubts you're still feeling called I think you should listen to that voice because I'm glad I did all right thank you